Matthew continues, but he answered her not a word. Mark, but Jesus said to her, so he is saying something. Matthew, I'm probably going to have to have that first. He answered her not a word, because then after that, his disciples came and besought him, saying, send her away, for she cries after us. And then Jesus speaks. But he answered and said, I am not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And in Mark, that's... Actually, that saying's not here. In Matthew, he continues after that. Then she came and worshipped him... She fell at his feet, as it says in Mark. Then he didn't answer her words, so she probably went to them. Then they came to him, asking him to send her away. He says something. So now she comes back and worships him, falling down at his feet, and saying, Lord, help me. Then he answers her, It is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to the dogs. Apparently it's a common thing for the Jews to call the people of the land who are not Jewish, the Gentiles, as dogs. It seems very racist, but as we see, it's just a test. So, this is what he's saying. It is not meat. This is the first thing that it says in Mark. Let the children be first filled, for it is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to the dogs. But since all of that in Matthew is mentioned and it's not in Mark, I'll put Matthew first. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cries after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meat. Oh, you know what? That is actually in Mark. Yeah. But Jesus said to her, let the children first be filled, for it is not meat to take the children's bread. Okay, so that statement needs to come first in Mark. But Jesus said to her, but he answered and said, so I'll change he for Jesus. Jesus Answered and said. I'll leave answered and from Matthew, but then said will be both. But then I'll add in the middle the extra words from Mark. Mark only to her. Let the children first be filled, and then the word for, then it goes into it is not meat. It is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to the dogs. The is the only word added.
Otherwise, all this statement is both. It is not meat. And this one I will underline. As it is in the book, because it's M E E T, meaning fitting, not proper. To take the children's bread, I'm not going to have that. It is underlined here, meaning Israel. Um, but that is kind of a, a hidden meaning. It's not the word is hard to understand. It's like a parable. The children's bread and cast it to dogs. That's why him saying to dogs, he's not actually calling her a dog. He's using the situation to explain that uh, there are the people he's sent to and the effect will eventually reach other people like the leftovers to the dogs. It does sound kind of mean, but... Uh, as we know, this is a test. He's testing her to see if her pride is so great that she's going to just quit and say, how dare you insult me? I'm going to go to somewhere else or just let my daughter keep getting vexed by the demons. And to cast italics it. And I guess I'll just keep the the. It's an added word. It doesn't really change anything. Dogs. 